Hello and welcome to this week's Carrie Connects. I am psychic medium Carrie Muggs and each week I pull a card from a deck and let you know what's coming for the week, the signs and symbols to watch for and um, what's coming. So this week we're using the Sonia Shaquette Ask Your, Ask Your Guides Oracle deck. This is one of my favorite decks. This is one of the first decks I've ever used. So when I first started kind of tapping into my gift and my gifts and, and having my awakening. This was the deck that helped me, helped me do things. So, or helped me tap into that or helped me kind of communicate at first. So now let's see. Unconditional love from your divine mother. So it has been a couple crazy weeks. The end of July was kind of nuts and August is starting kind of off with a bang. So the thing I love about mother is just the unconditional un unconditional love is mothers are supposed to be nurturing and loving. And so you are not alone. You are surrounded by love. You are surrounded by your guides and your ancestors. And even mother, like a mother source, a feminine mother source. A lot of people think, you know, God can be a woman or there could be source could be have it you know not sexual it doesn't it doesn't matter but you are going to be surrounded with lots of love whatever you believe in source god um divine mother whatever it is that energy is going to be surrounding you this week and loving you because here's the thing when we talk about new beginnings this is also about beginning and co-creating because this is that's what that's what females do. That's what the feminine energy does is, is, is it's, it's nurturing and it's co-creating. It's co-creating what you want and what you want for, um, which totally fits with, with the Leo and the lion's gateway because, because that energy is aggressive and that energy is totally manifestation energy. That's totally whatever you put out there, you get. So it's it's so fitting that we get mother and unconditional love the week after that, because whatever you are manifesting or whatever you're cre creating, it's exhilarating. And um, mother or feminine is the feminine energy is creating and co-creating and being nurtured and being loved and being. Um, catered to while you're creating this. Sometimes we get so hard on ourselves and we have so much in our lives that are, it's so crazy. It's, we have so much going on and we have so much that we have such high expectations of ourselves. And we have such, such things as like, we have to do this, we have to do this, we have to do this. And we have to remember that we are not alone. We are co-creating with a divine mother we are co-creating with source. We are co-creating with our, our ancestors and our guides. And we are being loved and never alone while we're doing this. If you look at any um, past life or any kind of book that talks about being on the other side or, or seeing the gates of heaven, they always talk about we are never alone. And I don't think we realize that. We do feel alone. And we do feel like we have to do this on our own. And we do feel like there's so much on our plate. And so you just remember that while you're manifesting and while you're co-creating and while you're having this new beginning, you are also being so loved. This also is a child. So you could be, um, it could be an indication that you need to work on your inner child or you need to dig deep and see what's going on with your inner child and you need to love yourself. It might not be that you need love outside sources. You need to love yourself. And this, I tell and tell and tell all the time. You, and I know it's so cliche. I know people are like, well, how do I do that? You love yourself by creating boundaries. You love yourself by giving yourself some grace. You love yourself by knowing you're not perfect, but yet you are. You love yourself by by just being you authentically and not putting on that mask anymore. So just dig deep into that inner child, figure out, figure out how that ticks, how you can be, how, become her or him again and love that. So know that this week, there's so much involved in this week. There's so many, there's so many, so many things. There's, there's manifestation, which 
which is tied on to last week. And there's also inner child, divine guidance, co-creation, new beginnings. There's so much of that that's going to start this week. So it could be, honestly, I don't know how many of you out there, but school could be starting and you could be like totally nurturing your kids or having to nurture yourself because some of you may love that and some of you may struggle with that. So, so you need to give yourself some grace here and love, love yourself unconditionally because if you don't, who else is going to besides your divinely guided team, right? They love you no matter what. But if you feel alone, tap into them. Tap into that unconditional love. So some of the signs and symbols to watch for this week are the number one. So one is the number. So 111, that's a huge number, especially for manifestation, for manifesting. So 111. Also too, anything with hearts, heart-shaped rocked, heart shapes, anything anything that has motherly guidance or mother kind of thing, like your mom doesn't count if you go and see your mom, maybe, or your mom could call you out of the blue and you haven't talked to your mom forever. Also too, stars. Stars are gonna be a big sign for this too. And just when you see these signs, remember to love yourself. Remember, it's, it's, a, it's a sign that you are loved. You are loved by the divine. You are loved by you are loved by, which also I want to add zeros because zero, 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 zeros is the sign of the divine. So you are loved by your ancestors. You are loved by your guides. You are loved by your spiritual team and by the divine and by a divine mother. But also too, when you see some of these signs, love yourself. It's a reminder that you are loved, but you need to love yourself. You need to love every ounce of you. You need to love even the dark parts of you. You need to love the the big the big thighs or the belly or you need to love the body that that be grateful for the body that has the strength to do some of the things that you do. Love that you are maybe that even if you do look at somebody else's um Instagram and you kind of judge for a second, remind yourself that that's not them. That's you. It's something in you that you need to love. It's something in you that you need to look at and say, okay, why am I jealous or am I just wanting that? Or why is this, why is this bothering me? And I need to love that within myself. So this is the week that you need to look inside yourself, play, do something inner child, do something creative, that just brings that inner child, that 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 little girl or that little boy in you that needs that love that maybe you didn't receive it the way you wanted to when you were a child. So big week then. That's a lot of mental, emotional stuff, right? It's not like just cats and manifestations, lion's gate. It's kind of like, but this is always the biggest, which kind of, it's it's okay because if we did have that download last week and we did have that, um, this is always the other side. Spiritual growth is always about the other side. It's not just about the fun and the rainbows and the aha moments. It's also about the darker side of it and digging deep and understanding yourself and how that download is going to affect you. So, so watch for that this week. This week's going to be a lot of inner work and inner work isn't super easy. So love yourself, love yourself goodly, please. Okay. So I don't think I have a lot going on this week, um, we're just going to get to the end of August. I still have family stuff that I'm doing. And then September is going to be with all the new classes and all the things. So um, I love you guys so much. And I do. I love you. And I mean it. I mean it so, so much. And I will see you guys later.